Hello everyone, I'm Akif and uh, I'm doing a video on RPL. Now, RPL won't be discussed in a single video. I will be making a number of videos. In the first video, we'll discuss the basic terms related to RPL. Then in the second, uh, it, it depends upon the length, uh, uh, we will discuss uh, about control messages. Uh, if uh, we can also make a single video where we discuss both things that is uh, control messages and how the RPL is formed and in the final video we will do some uh, Koja simulations so let's get started uh, routing protocol for low power and lossy network is what we call as RPL and it is a distance vector routing protocol and here the routing is based on a kind of a special DAG which is direct acyclic graph and that special kind of DAG is known as destination oriented uh, acyclic graphs now in order to understand it fully we need to first start from basic terms so what is a DAG or direct acyclic graph it's a kind of a spanning tree graph where we do not have any cycles you can look at on the uh, right part of the screen we have these uh, we have a graph which looks like a spanning tree and in this spanning tree we don't see any uh, kind of a cycle then what is a root? A root it's the destination of the nodes in a DAG now you can look on the blue uh, figure uh, the node at the top where every node is directed towards is known as a root now what is up? when an edge is moving uh, towards the root when the edge is directed towards the root it's called as up you can uh, look at this red edge uh, in the graph it appears that it's moving down but uh, as the definition says that is an edge that is directed towards the root it is actually if uh, you ponder over it and look at it carefully it is moving towards the root uh, and what is down when an edge is moving away from the root the what is DODAG as I told you it's a special uh, DAG and in this DAG we have uh, each node wants to reach a single destination so you can look at this graph uh, each node is directed towards one single node these nodes all nodes are directed towards one single node uh, so this is uh, the route they want to reach or this is the destination they want to reach so it's called as a uh, uh, destination oriented DAG and these are the kind of DAGs we will find in uh, uh, RPL so what is the objective function uh, objective function helps us uh, to decide whether we are near the route or away from it now ob what is an objective function is decided by the designer or program uh, and we give uh, this objective function an integer number uh, we represent it in the form of numbers so what we want to minimize actually we call that as an objective function and uh, it can be anything it can be energy it can be latency and uh, what is the rank for example here the distance of this node is one away from the root so its rank is one and the distance of this node is two away from the root so its rank is two and what is RPL instance RPL instance is uh, when we have one or more dodags then each instance uh, is uh, then each dodag is an instance what do we mean by that if you look at this figure below on the right uh, side of the screen we have two dodags this is one dodag this is another dodag uh, each want to reach a common destination here this wants to reach a common destination here in this dag and a node wants to reach this de destination and likewise every node in this dag wants to reach this very destination similar is the case with this so these are two instances of the uh, DODAC. So these are two instances of the RPL. 
Now, what what else we have? We have Dodag ID. In Dodag, uh, we have this IPv6 address. Uh, I, I have also discussed it in this six low band. The root, or in some cases, it is the uh, border router. Uh, it has got an IP address, and then other sensor nodes, which might be routers or hosts, they are connected to this border router, and together they all form a sort of an island. And in this island, all share the common prefix. So the border router has got an IP address. It has a prefix in the IP address, and this prefix is shared by each and every element uh, in that island. Uh, so if this IP address changes all the nodes will have a different address but they will have the same common prefix so what is a dodag version each new shape we know that these nodes go for sleep they go uh, off for a couple of weeks uh, but what happens is that they always tend to form these uh, spanning trees or dags uh, if one goes off they will try to find form a path from another uh, another way uh, so that is called as um, uh, in that way they form a new version so each version uh, each shape or e is a different version so that's what dodag version means so what is goal it should not be confused with uh, the objective function it's different Do goal is where we want to reach for example uh, we have a dodag and this dodag wants to uh, reach to some wired network then uh, the goal is that wired network uh, so goal is where we want, to, we want to reach and objective function is what we want to minimize now if our dodag is connected with its goal if it has reached its goal it's called as grounded and if uh, our dodag has not reached its goal it's not connected to its goal it's called as floating then we have a parent what is parent parent is where the arrow is pointing towards if if you look at this graph here the arrows are pointing towards this uh, common destination uh, it is the parent here too these two nodes uh, point towards uh, th this node so this is the parent uh, so what is sub sub dodag it's a subtree of a given dodag so each subtree for example uh, this is a dodag this is a subtree similarly this is a subtree so each each subtree in it is a sub dodag now what is storing in storing we have these nodes which we call as storing nodes they have the whole routing table with them they have the complete knowledge about the other nodes also so these are called storing nodes now what are non storing nodes they are a bit kind of a naive or simple if you talk about them figuratively so, uh, they only know who their parents are so this is like a small child who only has knowledge about his parents. He doesn't know who uh, its neighbors are, who uh, its grandparents are. So that's what non-storing means. Now there is this important point, and which is that uh, the dodags have to maintain a sort of uniformity. Uh, it's not allowed to have a hodgepodge of storing and non-storing devices in this dodag. What we will have is either the whole dodag except from the root will be storing or it will be non-storing but root is always going to be storing so that was all for today uh, we will discuss rpl control messages in the next video thanks for watching goodbye